I have to sing. I have to play. The music, it's, it's not just in me. It is me. <laughs> when life gets me down, I play my guitar. The rest of the world may follow the rules, but I must follow my heart. You know that feeling? Like there's a song in the air and it's playing just for you. A feeling so close, you will reach out and touch it. I never knew I could want something so much, but it's true. Never underestimate the power of music. No one was going to hand me my future. It was up to me to reach for my dream, grab it tight, and make, make it, it come true. true. That was amazing. Pixar is finally back with two movies this year after Cars 3. Coco will land in theaters this fall, and it tells the story of a boy named Miguel who sets off a chain of events relating to a century-old mystery, leading to an amazing family reunion. Newcomer Anthony Gonzalez plays the adorable Miguel, who has a musical talent that takes him beyond his wildest dreams. Benjamin Bratt will voice the famous singing sensation Ernesto de la Cruz. Gael Garcia Bernal will play the rather bony skeleton buddy, Hector. And Rene Victor will voice Miguel's grandmother, Abuelita. Lee Unkrich returns as the director. He also directed Toy Story 3. So grab your tissues, because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of emotional moments. The story of Coco dives deep into music and family as Miguel sneaks into a museum of his idol, Ernesto de la Cruz. There he finds the famous guitar and with a touch of his hand, he seems to get magically transported into the music-filled land of the dead. But this isn't going to be some zombie world. The Mexican culture celebrates Day of the Dead in vibrant color costumes and masks. It's a Mexican holiday that has been observed for over 2,000 years. Miguel is not alone. His faithful companion Dante comes along with him for an epic adventure. Along the way he'll meet his dead yet incredibly animated family members of the past and a certain bony buddy named Hector who is a trickster who helps Miguel on his quest to find De La Cruz in the giant underworld. I have a feeling there will be lots of touching moments especially with Miguel's grandmother Abuelita who is very old and I hope she doesn't die in this movie but I have a feeling she will but Miguel will reunite with her in the land of the dead and she will help him on his path. This is Pixar's first original project since 2015's lackluster The Good Dinosaur which never really captured an audience. Let's hope Coco can capture audiences all over again when it hits theaters on November 22nd. But buckle up Pixar fans, as I said we're getting two Pixar movies this year. Cars 3 races into theaters on June 16th. Have you seen the tragic Lightning McQueen crash yet? If not, click this video here and meet all the new characters from Cars 3 including a destruction derby school bus. What? And you gotta hit that subscribe button cause we've got tons more Disney and Pixar movie news coming your way. Which Pixar movie are you most excited for? Cars 3 or Coco? Leave your comment down below.